Hello friends, welcome to Geo Times. My name is Challa Dinesh. Uh, let's discuss about River Godavari, its tributaries, important projects, water allocations for different states, wildlife sanctuaries and national parks, etc. With this, you'll have a great idea uh, about Godavari River. Let's start with this. River Godavari is one of the longest rivers in India with a total length of 1465 kilometers and drainage basin of 313000 square kilometers it's called vrid ganga ganga of the south it is the largest uh, river in south india this uh, has been captured from the starting point it's the it's original originate point near uh, western ghats it's a wonderful uh, River uh, with the lush green forest. No. So it has initially it flows in the northerly direction. Uh, direction it originates near Brahmagiri Range in Western Ghats and flows north side till Gangapur Reservoir and bends easterly uh, through Deccan Plateau and again southeasterly towards Western Ghats, Papi Hills, and drains into Bay of Bengal. It forms a delta called Konasima. It flows through Maharashtra, Telangana, Andhra Pradesh, Chhattisgarh, Odisha, and uh, one tributary, Penchen Kanha, from MP and emptying into Bay of Bengal through its extensive network of tributaries. It passes through Balagat Range in the northern, the western, uh, northern side is Azanta Range and Subbank tributaries. We have Purna, Varda, Pench, Venganga, Indravati, Sabari, and uh, Sileru. Right bank tributaries mean are Pravara, Mola, Manjira, and Maneru. Basically, it originates in, at uh, Brahmagiri range and flows like this. So, these are joined by lot of tributaries. So, if the flow direction is in this way, these are left side tributaries and these are right side tributaries you need to remember that it depends on the flow direction so coming to the topography part Kudavri basin is bounded by actually we have already discussed that north by Sapmala hills and this is Ajanta range and this is Balagat range so it in the north side, it passes through the Deccan traps and in the middle, it passes through the Asian granite and Darwars. And the downs the downstream, this 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 part. This entire part is uh, mainly by condolites and charbonites and Gondwana sedimentary group. And these condolites and charbonites like sandstones, shales, etc. And Gondwanas are mainly the coal seams. These uh, are rich in natural gas reserves okay so coming to the tributaries part tributaries this is Maharashtra and this is Karnataka this is Telangana Andhra Pradesh Orissa Chhattisgarh and this is MP so it starts like this in the northerly side and then it this is Gangapur reservoir This is a very uh, old reservoir and now it's already uh, silted up and it supplies water to Nasik. Okay, and then it flows in the easterly direction. So the main tributaries on the right side are Paravara, Mola, these are all in Maharashtra, Manar and Manjira. And there is a river called Maneru, which joins near 
Kaleshwaram Mantani. Okay, so the left bank tributaries are Purna, Panganga, Varda, Kanhan, Penj, Venganga, and this Varda and Venganga join and form this Pranahita river. This is the largest tributary of Kudavri river. It joins near Kaleshwaram. There is the biggest lift irrigation uh, project is there here. It is called Kaleshwaram lift irrigation project. It is the largest of all the projects in this and this is Indravati river which originates in Orissa and this is Sabari and Sile which is also called Machkun. So these are all the tributaries of Godavari river and their origins. With this map you can easily identify from where this river originates. Like this, this is all uh, tributaries originates in Maharashtra and Maner originates in Telangana. No. From Pench and Kanhain MP, Venganga from MP, Varda from MP and uh, Indravati from Orissa, Sabari, Sileru also from Orissa. Coming to important uh, irrigation projects. So basically what is irrigation? Irrigation is the artificial supply of water to the fields for farming. It may be for industrial activities. It may be for any agri elite activities. So you know the basics of uh, one TMC. It's basically a reservoir capacity. Uh, this is uh, Gangapur Reservoir. So it's an important uh, project. Uh, located on the river Godavari. Uh, it supplies drinking water to uh, nearby Nasik town. But nowadays it got uh, silted up. So we, uh, they have already constructed a P dam. And this is uh, Jayakwadi. It is located in Aurangabad district. Which supplies water to the drought prone Maratwada region. Surrounding area is a bird sanctuary and this is uh, Siddheshwara Dam on Purna River, Purna tributary of Godavari. So these are all the uh, important reservoirs, Gangapur, Jayakwadi, Siddheshwara, Upper Panganga. Upper Panganga is here, located here and Upper Varda, Upper Varda is here. These are all located in Maharashtra region. So in Telangana, uh, this is the Manjira tributary. We have uh, Singur Dam and there is a Manjira barrage here which supplies waters to Hyderabad, drinking water to Hyderabad. And this is Nizam Sagar, the one of the oldest project in Telangana. So uh, these are all the capacities. Nizam Sagar is 29.7. This is Pochampad, Sri Ram Sagar project or Pochampad, which has a capacity of uh, 90 TMC and uh, which is a lifeline for uh, drought prone Telangana region. But the water availability is reduced to one, one third because of the many projects in the upstream uh, Maharashtra region. SC has given a verdict to maintain natural flow in monsoon season and downstream side of this uh, Siddheshwara Jayakwadi reservoir and to op Babli project by opening the gates and uh, no obstruction to maintain the natural river flow because uh, there are a lot of uh, water allocation treaties between Telangana and Maharashtra Depending on that, uh, the water will be released in the monsoon seasons. So we have a uh, Elambali project here, which is very important uh, key link in uh, Kaleshwaram project. We will discuss about Kaleshwaram project in detail in our uh, future videos. Uh, so we have a uh, Polovaram project here, uh, which is a national project of uh, NABAD funding. 
it is under construction not yet completed and we have a right main canal here which connects uh, krishna river on the upstream side of prakasham barrage so it's a part of interlinking linking of rivers so we have in orissa machkun it's in the border between orissa and uh, andhra pradesh we have balimela and upper kolaba on uh, sileru river upper indravati on indravati river and we have uh, upper venganga in Ma madhya pradesh this is lower Vunna, itla dam so we have a uh, lot of projects but these are uh, the important projects coming to national parks and wildlife sanctuaries so what is the difference between wildlife sanctuary and national park uh, the name suggests that its main aim is to protect the particular flora and fauna here it includes flora and fauna or any historical significance here human activities are allowed here no human activities are allowed here boundaries are uh, fixed and here there are no fixed boundaries it can be with uh, normal uh, forest or reserve forest also and this uh, wildlife sanctuary is open to general public and this is not usually open to general public and these are formed by the uh, order of central and state government same here it's formed by uh, state or central uh, legislature and a sanctuary can be upgraded to a national park but uh, the reverse is not possible so let's discuss some important uh, national parks and wildlife sanctuaries in the vicinity of Godavari Basin so coming to Maharashtra we have Jayakwadi uh, bird sanctuary near uh, Jayakwadi dam in Maharashtra so uh, we have a uh, lot of notable migratory birds like cranes, flamingos, pintails, swigians, etc. And Nandamudeshwar bird sanctuary, it's a first wetland in the state declared by uh, International Ramsar Convention. We have uh, Navegaon National Park, it's a national park located in the eastern part of Maharashtra. It's actually indeed nature's priceless assets and beacons and one and all to enjoy its picturesque landscape. It's pure and very fresh air. Uh, we have Tadoba Anderi uh, Tiger Project. Uh, Tadoba means it's a god name. Anderi is a river which passes through the forest that meanders through the forest. And it's a tropical dry deciduous forest. Main plantation is peak and keystone species is Bengal tiger and we also have leopards, tigers, sambars, reptile etc. So these, these are all in Maharashtra, Godavari Basin and in Telangana we have Pranaita wildlife sanctuary, Kaval wildlife sanctuary, to Nagaram wildlife sanctuary in northern Telangana. around the uh, Godavari Basin. In Andhra Pradesh, we have uh, Papikondalu National Park. So, this might be submerged. Once uh, the Polovaram Variation Project is completed, and Koringa Mangrove Forest. So, what are mangroves? Mangroves are shrubs or small trees that grows in coastal saline or brackish water in the intertidal zone which have very less oxygen and waterlogged mud these are uh, salt tar tolerant trees called halophytes so Koringa is situated on the confluence of river Godavari and the Bay of Bengal in Chhattisgarh, we have Indravati uh, National Park, Kangar Ghati National Park, and in Madhya Pradesh, we have Panch National Park on uh, Panch River.
थैंक यू फॉर वॉचिंग प्लीज शेयर द इन्फॉर्मेशन इफ यू लाइक इट जय हिंद